lover, are you? I said leave him alone. Why don't you sort of... Come on. Let's get out of here. Move it. I did what I could. Not enough, I'm afraid. Did they give a reason, sir? No. Unofficially, they felt they could no longer accept you were a suitable candidate for a senior post. These are not the sort of headlines a hospital board appreciates. I've really given them a good excuse this time, haven't I? Look at it from their point of view. The royal family send their children here. They don't want them to be treated by a man who's killed someone in a street brawl. It was an accident, sir. What did the board expect me to do? Drive by and let the old man get kicked to death? Dr. Masters, you're a fine doctor. No one disputes that. But losing your temper with me won't help you. I'm sorry. But if the court accepted I wasn't to blame, I believe the board should. Then you are naive. It might have been a little easier to defend you if you didn't have a history of upsetting key members of the board. There's no need for surgery with polio. If that fact leaves certain eminent doctors here with red faces, too bad. I didn't come into medicine to play politics. An old friend of mine, Alec Reed, has been working overseas for some years, the Pacific Islands. He's prepared to offer you a job. Doing what? Beach combing? Polio's endemic on the islands. You'll have a free hand for research. Get a good paper published, and people will conveniently forget all about this in a year or so. Do I have a choice, Professor? No. I really don't think you have. give them presents all the time. Not presents. Blackmail. She doesn't get better. She doesn't get a teddy. Now, did she have a good night? Excellent. Good. You didn't get the registrar's post, did you? No. Dr. Barton just gave me the good news. I'm so sorry, Doctor. What are you going to do? I didn't shape up, so I'm being shipped out. Apparently, there are other places I'm needed. Look, I've already told you. 
behind you. It's a brown trunk with my name and Auckland written clearly on the side. I know it's here. I saw it being unloaded. I can assure you, no one would want to steal it. Well? Must be lost then. When's the next ship to Coraluna? Three months. Three months? That'll give you time to find your luggage. Hurry up, old boy. You're not the only one sailing somewhere today. I'm not going to a desert island with no bloody clothes. <laughs> Sounds perfect for a desert island. Don't worry about it. Have a glass of champagne. I don't want a glass of champagne. All I want... Oi, mate! Thank you. Thank you all very much. Doesn't have much of a sense of humor, does he? Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Paula? You seem to make him laugh, Teddy. Island every three months on the round trip. Drop off supplies, pick up the copra. She stinks a fair bit when she's loaded, I can tell you. Which is why I don't mind taking passengers. They smell better. <laughs> I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, gentlemen. Well, it's well worth a wait, Miss Reed. Have you met Dr. Masters? Almost. Hello. Might say we're passing acquaintances. Ah. Uh, Colin. Dr. Masters is going to be working for your father on the island. How very interesting. Why? I want to do some research. On Coraluna? It's not exactly a great center of medical learning. It's not the center of anything, really, except perhaps the South Pacific. You're a native, then? Born there. Bred in Melbourne. I bet your father's looking forward to seeing you again. No, no, Captain. I'm a surprise escape the wicked city in a hurry. The latest in my mother's long list of possible husbands for me was breathing down my neck. They were all a bit like Teddy, who you almost bumped into, Dr. Masters. Oh. Hardly the kind of man a girl dreams about. I hope I'm not embarrassing you with all this chit-chat. Experts have tried to embarrass me, Miss Reed. Paula. Christopher. Patron saint of travelers. Great. Cheers, then, Chris. Cheers. The man who wrote that was a missionary and died 50 years ago. 40. I expect you're more up to date with island life. Hardly. Haven't been back in ten years. My parents separated and mother whisked me away for a lady's education. But I doubt if it's changed much. Is that why you're going back? Civilize the natives? Yes. Well, not around the coast. They're very civilized. The mountain people. Cannibals. Not amongst themselves, mind you. Only interested in white meat. Are you going back to risk your life again? Right now, anything would be more fun than Melbourne society. Do you think Coraluna's ready for you? As much as it needs another doctor. I'm not on the gear! 
Keep away in the yard. Pick her up. Easy when you know how. Administrator for the New Zealand government. Welcome to Coraluna. You're Dr. Masters, I presume? Yes. Hello, Colonel. <laughs> Dad, it's so good to see you. I'm amazed. Delighted. Oh, I'm Alec Reed. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see you. <laughs> I think I gathered that. <laughs> yes. I'm so pleased you're here. Uh, you must tell me how Nick Barton is. Things are a bit ominous in Europe, I believe. I'd like a bath first. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Shouldn't we do the honours first, Doctor? Oh, yes. Introduce you to the royal family. Here they say the Ariki. They've come especially to greet you. Your arrival here is a bit of a major event. Colonel, there's a problem with the copra. It's not all here, sir. I thought I'd sorted this business out. Can't it wait? Alec, would you? Excuse me, Dr. Masters. Hola, little Alina. I hardly recognized you. And you, you're beautiful. Tiari. Oh. Oh. Kiorana. Thank you. Welcome to our island, Doctor. I hope you had a good journey. Yes, thank you. You've already met my daughter. The Colonel wishes to speak with you at once. Why did you stop calling us? Cameroon. I expect you to keep your men under control. There's been a total botch up bringing the copra from the plantation. I'm sorry, Colonel. Sorry's all I hear these days. There's a war brewing, you know. We can't afford this kind of nonsense. Yes, Colonel. It will all be here before the boat is due to sail. The men will not work on a church day. Then they must work harder tomorrow. Yeah. Ka anga anga pakari no te moni meangiti. E mana. E rava kwe taakwe a kawe atu nek. What are you two arguing about? Speak English. We have no problem, Colonel. Everything will be all right. Mana will see to it. Good. 
I'll leave you to it. No, something not ready in time. Efficiency is not always our strong point here. See? In the islands, there are only two times. You're either in time to eat or you're late. Sorry about that. Alec, I'll take Dr. Masters up to the hotel. I imagine you'll want to look after your daughter. Thank you. Uh, uh, we'll catch up with you later, Chris. All right. Yes, bye. See you later. Welcome again, Doctor. <laughs> Tamara is a decent enough fella. Smart enough to send his daughter to New Zealand for a bit of schooling. Not your idea or my idea of a king, perhaps, but we all rub along. Beautiful island. Yeah, I suppose it is. After 15 years, you rather stop noticing. <laughs> Word to the wise, Alec Reed's been here a long time. You may find him a touch eccentric in his habits. Splendid doctor, of course. Ah, yeah. Nothing young men in the world can't cope with, I'm sure. This is Molly's, the finest hotel on the island, and the only one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. My pleasure, old chef. Oh, by the way, we'll be having welcoming drinks for you at the club next Sunday night. Right. can't shin up that one anymore, Dad. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it all looks so much smaller. <laughs> Going to help the boys with the cases, Jimbo. There's a good lad. Kiorama. Just ask anyone around the South Pacific. They all know Molly's. First drink's on the house. And don't say no, it's a once-only offer. <laughs> Just a beer, Molly? Oh, right you are, Bill. I hope you're not drinking doubles. We sail in a couple of days, remember? Yeah. You'll have your copra, Captain. Tumble to a set, sir. You better believe it, mate. I don't like being messed about. Well, you settled in, Dr. Masters? There you are, lovey. Yes. <laughs> You'll get used to the locals. Lazy bunch of drongos. Need to kick up the backside occasionally to get them moving. Isn't that right, Manor? We don't need anything from you. This is our island. You should remember that. Surly bastard. Of course, they're not all like him. Like some of Tamaru's mob are quite reasonable, really. Where's Miss Reed? With her father, I think. Uh, delicate situation, that. Why? When did you remarry? You never wrote. I can never even find a way of trying to explain. I've had a brother for nine years and never even known about it. What did you plan to do? Send me a telegram on his 21st birthday. Which one is my stepmother? Kuro's Jimbo's mother, Moana's her sister. They're both 
part of my household. <laughs> oh, God! You're serious, aren't you? I wasn't prepared for your coming back. If I could have arranged things differently, I would have done so. Believe me. I'm glad you're here. Truly. Moving in. Dad's place is smaller than I remember. Best if I stay here. On to hand. I can manage. <laughs> you get back to bed before I get too excited, boy. Come on. Tomorrow, I suggest she gets herself a bicycle. Right. You saw my daughter when she went back to the hotel last night. Yes. Let me show you something. ago. Paula understood it when she was a child. I'm not sure she does anymore. I think she wants to. Next stop, Colonel General Hospital. Very impressive. Ingenious. It keeps unwelcome visitors from climbing into bed. Uh, the brainwave of Miss Sowerby, my immaculate assistant. Unfortunately, she's the daughter of a minister, so it doesn't take much to shock her sensibilities. But when we are rushed off our feet with three or four patients a week, I leave most of them to Miss Sowerby. Nonsense, Dr. Reed. You have plenty of time here to do your own research. That's what you want, isn't it? Polio. We get cases all too frequently, as you know. I saw the boy at the church. Ah, young Aki, I did a tendectomy. He seems to get around all right. I take that as a compliment. Professor Barton says you have other ideas. This is the Bible, tropical and subtropical diseases, most of which you're never likely to see here in a lifetime, and most of which we can't do anything about anyway, I'm afraid. I know 30 years old. But cholera and typhoid haven't changed much in the last thousand years. And once you've settled in, you'll find the pace of life here rather different from London. I have no intention of settling here, Dr. Reed. Ah, that's what they all say, isn't it, Miss Sowerby? Oh, by the way, everyone calls me Doc. Mock 
where I came to dream. Salt. Very peaceful. How are you getting along with my father? I like him. He's very... composed. Generous. To a fault. It's not Melbourne. It never was. But two stepmothers comes as quite a shock. He's a good man. I have grown past hate and bitterness. I see the world as one. Yet though I can no longer hate, my son is still my son. What does he do for an encore, Ganga Din? All men at God's round table sit, and all men must be fed. But this loaf in my hand, this loaf is my son's bread. Thank you, Mary Gilbert. Purvis is our local wordsmith, Dr. Masters. He tends to sing for his supper rather than pay for it. Ah, true artist. <laughs> do you play bridge, Doctor? Oh, do say yes. We're one short of the tournament. I'm afraid I don't even play snap very well, Mrs. Muller. Never mind. I'm sure you are a quick learner. The ladies will not let you get away so easily, Doctor. I shall order some more. I'm sorry we're such a lot of old fogies, Dr. Masters. But at least you'll have Paula for company. I can't imagine what's keeping my husband. So unlike him to be late. With the Colonel's responsibilities, I... Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Dad. Hola. Being very charming this evening. Thank you. Well, I see the Mentella managed to get away without too much delay. We finally got the right cargo, no thanks to Marner. He works very hard. He's a troublemaker. The likes of him and his cronies don't appreciate what we've done for them. What exactly have you done for them? Everything. We've been looking after them for 80 years. They're not children. Mr. Johnson has to work quite closely with the islanders. It's very hot. Shall we go outside? You've been here for two minutes and suddenly you're an expert, are you? No. I just think they should be allowed to have their say. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? I've just had a report from New Zealand, which will come as no surprise to you, I'm afraid. Herr Hitler has not withdrawn his troops from Poland. England's ultimatum has been ignored. We are at war with Germany. Oh, dear, dear. Well, yeah. I propose a toast. To victory. 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 So much for peace in our time. She had what they thought were flu symptoms for about a week. At least her chest muscles haven't been affected too severely. It's polio, isn't it? Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, we'll have to anesthetize her while I put her in plaster. How long has she been like this? Not long. A few hours. Doc, let me try the other method. But she's in agony. I told you, I've seen it work. She doesn't improve quickly. I know. Great. Right. Can you
can you explain? We won't need an operation. Her daughter will be in pain for a time, but this way she'll make a full recovery. She must understand that. I said she'll soon be climbing trees again and throwing coconuts at her brother. Thanks. Keep them coming. Mm. I'll have to keep this up in shifts. The spasm subside. How long do you think that'll be? I don't know. It's different in every case. I didn't come into medicine to play politics. It might have been a little easier to defend you if you didn't have a history of upsetting key members of the board. There's no need for surgery with polio. The spasms aren't nearly as bad as before. How extensive do you think the paralysis will be? Hopefully she'll be fine. Her muscles will disassociate from her nervous system, but not permanently. It'll take weeks, maybe months of physiotherapy. But she should recover completely. If I'd known this before, of course, I'd never have operated. Don't worry. I'm still using surgery in England. Coraluna is probably the most advanced polio clinic in the South Pacific. If you'd given me notice, I'd have had the place repainted. There's been some sort of fight at the copra plantation. Then we'd better both go. You must control your people. They say their wages have been cut, Colonel. The wages haven't been cut. They've been forced to raise their taxes. They are getting less money, Colonel. We all are. There's a war on. We have to make sacrifices. It's not our war. That's far away in Europe. Show some respect. The gods will curse you. You care more about them than about us. That's enough. I want this place cleared now. Now. Tiki, sort this out and report back to me. Let me treat that cut. You're all to blame. All of you. And you. You're betraying your own people. Chris, give me a hand here. This is a bloody mess. Allow me, old chap. You appear in need of comfort. Thanks. I'll have a beer. The usual, George. Your slate's full again, Mr. Purvis. It's that time of the month, George. The money will be here tomorrow. Don't you worry about it. I'll settle it then. Rules and regulations. How's your patient? So far? Good. It's a great shame they don't go in for civic statues here. If 
she recovers, you'll doubtless find yourself in a folk story. But then words aren't as tangible a tribute, I've come to think. She's not cured yet. True. But fortune favors the brave. Shall we uh, step outside? You know, living here, it's difficult to imagine there's a war in Europe. Yes. Oh, foolish men will doubtless rush to arms, sacrificing all in the fight against fascism. That I know something about. Well, let's hope this time it really is over by Christmas. In the meantime, seize the day and all that old chap. Gastroenteritis. I fear it's not that simple. He's burning up. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Not if we can help it, sir. I must talk to Mana. Take him to hospital. He must die in his own house. He's not going to die anywhere. He must make his peace with the spirits. Alina, talk to your father, please. We don't understand, Dr. Master. Tomorrow knows he has betrayed his people. He has angered our gods. That's absolute nonsense. dies, what then? Alina will have to marry. And then... I was just saying, Colonel, the prospect of a new man at the reins doesn't fill you with unbridled enthusiasm, I'd guess. I have faith in your Dr. Masters, Miss Reed. Ah, faith. That's all right, then. George, two whiskeys, pigeon.
We can't let them take him. We need to do a post-mortem. They won't allow it. We need to know what it was. They have to sit with the dead man till the spirit departs. Can't be done with you busy poking about. But you said you've seen cases like this. Yes, and I found no answer then. Well, all the more reason to find out what it is. They've been cursed to die, too. Chris. You must learn not to interfere in things that you don't understand. I'm sorry. My father's spirit won't rest if you defile his body. We have to find out what killed him. He was cursed. I don't believe that. You don't believe because you don't want to believe. I'm going to write cursed on the death certificate. Your eyes are closed, Doctor, and that can be very dangerous. Is everyone here afraid of the truth? Put what you like on your piece of paper, Doctor Masters, but you will leave my father's body in peace. trouble here because I'm here to positively respect their traditions. These are sensitive issues. I have no intention of trampling over their feelings at a time like this. A man is dead, Colonel. And with respect, you have a duty to find out why. None of it means plunging the whole island into turmoil. For God's sake, man, don't you see? It's enough of a bloody disaster that he's died. It'll be a catastrophe if I let you chop him up. Well, you can't just pretend that nothing's happened. What are you going to write in your report? How are you going to explain his death? Some things are best left unexplained, Doctor. For you or for the Islanders? I'm sorry, believe me, Princess Alina, but the law requires... Your law, Colonel. Not ours. Your father was the leader of your people. You owe it to your subjects to discover the truth. We know the truth. He is dead. <laughs> You must not do this. Please. You don't just spontaneously dehydrate like that. Will you tell Fawcett, or shall I? Thanks. I need a drink. Now we've got to try and put him back together again. You may have been right, Chris, but it's going to cause trouble. Cheers. Slanger. <laughs> You are not welcome here, Colonel. But I represent the government. Tamara was my friend. Tamarua will be buried by his own people. Very well. I'll pay my respects at a later date. Thought you might need company. I'd wondered about going to the funeral. Not a good idea. Times like this, outsiders should stick together. Go 
God knows how your father's managed to survive here without any trouble. The world's bigger than Coraluna. If they don't want you, there are other places to go. I've not come all this way to fail. I came here to do something, not to see it through. Then I can go home. All right, then, be the best Boy Scout. But don't say I didn't warn you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like a prig. Thanks. Fatal attraction. What are you trying to prove to me, Pete? I've fallen in love with you. I love you. Why are you doing this? Speak with respect. Nothing but trouble since he arrived. Chris, I hope you're fooling yourself, Chris, because you're not fooling me. Do your work. I, Chris Masters, defy you. Next week, on the other side of paradise.